Yeah. 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 Do you just feel like there is no air left to breathe? Do you just want to smell like shit? It's all for sure. I didn't know. I wonder what it meant to be. That's good, Kramer Rice. Two minutes past, you're late. We're not, we're dead on. We still really haven't quarter with that. It's already a quarter of I was working. Yeah. Oh, God. I have to with. Always late. <laughs> Struggling there, mate. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video. I am currently just over eight weeks out from my first show this year and today I'm going to take you through my entire pool session. It's definitely one of my toughest sessions of the week and it's getting harder and harder as the weeks progress but I'm still making good progress. So I want to run through the session with you. I'm going to take you through some of my tips for progressing in the gym and explain some of the exercises I'm doing and why I'm doing them. And I'll see you guys in there. So as you can see, this is a pretty mammoth session. It's a pull day, so it's predominantly posterior chain. So I've got three big leg movements in there that are focusing on my glutes and hamstrings. There's four back exercises and then two bicep exercises as well. So I'm gonna start on this adductor machine. You guys would have seen me do this in a previous video and I'm able to stack this for 30 plus reps. So the way in which I've progressed on that now is not changing the exercise, but actually it is changing the tempo. So now that I'm able to move that heavy weight for a number of reps, now it's about controlling that weight with a three, two, three tempo. Okay, so with this movement, as opposed to performing a hip thrust, it's like from the ground and driving up, which is a very powerful movement to do, for me, that's not going to develop my glutes. I want to keep my glutes engaged the entire time. So rather than doing a hip thrust, I'm doing a glute drive. So you can see where my feet are positioned, my heels are in, and as I come down, I'm coming to about this range, and then I'm driving up, the big squeeze, coming down, releasing slowly, up, so that I'm not really taking too much off my glutes in this movement. So I'm gonna progress in weight with that. And um, sometimes I do it on the Smith machine, and other times I do it on the actual glute drive machine as well. I didn't have such a great pull session because I've got this like niggle in my shoulder here and I just couldn't manage the same weights. So I've got Barber RDLs next. And last week I did 45 kg aside only for five reps. Whereas previous week I was able to do 55 for six. I'm gonna work my way up. I'm gonna warm up and do 40 aside and then see how that feels and decide from there what we're gonna go with. But my shoulder still doesn't feel 100%. But let's see how we go. Today I'm awake up a new man.
grow, hamstrings grow. <sighs> I remember when I first started training with Darren years and years ago, when we lived in the UK, and he was teaching me how to do a barbell ordeal. I had such a hissy fit in the gym. I literally threw a tantrum because I couldn't get it. I couldn't get my knees right. I couldn't lower properly. I found it so hard. And it actually goes to show that this movement is going to be very different for everyone because of the way that you are built mechanically. Like, you know, I kept looking at people doing them and thinking they're going straight to the ground. And I'm like, I can't do that. But actually it's a hip hinge movement. So it all depends on the way in which you are built, essentially, it will depend on your range in this movement. Next up, wide lat pull down. I've got two sets here. One top set, six to 10 reps, and then pull back the weight by about 20, 30%, and then do three, one, three tempo reps to fail, which is brutal. down to 45. Okay, three, one, three. Three seconds down, pause, three seconds up. Okay, so I've got two sets on here as well. I'm gonna do a warm-up set now, and then I've got one heavy set, six to eight reps, really controlled. And then I've got a cluster set afterwards, ideally with the same weight, four by four. It's tough, but I absolutely love this exercise.
we are home now from the gym and I'm not gonna lie, I'm absolutely fried from that session. It is one of my toughest sessions, tough, and it is one of my toughest sessions of the week. Literally every time I drive home, I'm like, oh my God, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I've got my post-workout meal. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm going to plow on with some work. But what I haven't got today is I haven't got any coaching calls and I haven't got any check-ins. I make sure that I plan my work around my toughest sessions, but I still make sure I get my work done. So that's one of my tips. When prep gets hard, keep pushing on with other areas of your life because the busier you are, the weeks will just fly by and you'll be surprised at the progress you can make. It's how I built my business. Like when I was three weeks out from Alicante in 2019, it's when I my business just skyrocketed and I was able to leave my full-time job and pursue this full-time myself. So that's one of my tips. The other one is that when things get hard and your body starts really fighting this process, which it will, is really look into your supplementation, your rest, your recovery, and make sure that all of those things are really on point and you're supporting them as much as you can. Now that I'm close to eight weeks out, there's three new products that I've implemented from Revive, which I highly, highly recommend. The first one is Bergamot, which is a cardiovascular support, and I take that in the morning and night, one tablet in the morning, one at night. The other one is blood pressure, which is really important because my blood pressure is probably all over the place right now with the high volume of training, cardio, and dieting really hard. So I take two of those in the morning and two at night. And the other one is Adrenal Core, which I think is a fabulous product because it really helps support my adrenal system. And that's something that will take a beating when you are embarking on a prep and putting your body through something ultimately it doesn't want to do. Those are my two tips is look after your supplementation, look after your business, don't pull back in anything else in your life, continue striving forward and you'll be surprised at the progress you can make and how the weeks will just fly by. I've got some work to do this afternoon and I will catch you guys in the next video very, very soon. If you enjoyed watching my pool session and you've got any questions or comments about my workout, drop them in the comments section below. If there's anything else you wanna see from me, please let me know as well and I'll speak to you guys very soon. Bye for now.